this is a lecture for MFRS 141 Agriculture, which is topic four for our subject for 320. And uh, MFRS 141 Agriculture is equivalent to the International Accounting Standards 41 that was issued by International Accounting Standards Board. So let's start. So this is the topic outcome. You should be able to define agricultural or biological assets at the end of the at the end of the topic. Um, then should be able to discuss the initial measurement, yeah, initial measurement of agriculture or biological asset. We'll be looking at what biological asset. For our start, let me inform you that biological asset refers to living animal and living plants so it's not about tangible items which do not have life but this is about living things which is living animal and living plants we also be looking at the subsequent measurement of agricultural uh, biological asset prepare the relevant accounting entries to record the biological assets and whatever gain or loss pertaining to the change in fair value later looking at the presentation the supple and also how we present the asset biological asset in the soft b is it a non-current asset or is it a current asset let's start looking at the detail So this MFRS, MFRS 141 sets accounting for agricultural activity. For a start, you should know that agricultural activity talks about transformation of biological assets, right? Meaning something to do with how the plants are being transformed, how animals transform from day one of uh, being born until it becomes a mature animal. and from the day the plant is being cultivated, being planted until it bears the first fruit, for example, the first flower, for example. Or we are looking at the transformation of this into agricultural produce. So the flower, for example, is the produce coming from the plants. The milk, for example, is actually the agricultural produce of the dairy cow. So those are called harvested product. So we'll be looking into that. And as you uh, are aware, um, we need measurement to measure asset and for biological asset standards generally requires to be measured at fair value. So whenever there is an active market price the MFRS 141 says you must use fair value unless the fair value is not available. Fair value could be um, not be able to have an active market or whatsoever the issue. You can measure using cost. But generally, standards are in favor of fair value unless fair value cannot be measured reliably. Next. What, before we start, um, FRS 141 is on agricultural activity. So agriculture activity, we need to first understand what is agricultural activity before we start looking at those animals and plants that are managed as part of agricultural activities. So according to MFRS 141, this is the management, meaning that we are talking about the activities that are being managed by the company. So we're not talking about unmanaged activities. We're not talking about the fish in the sea or ocean fish farming. We are talking about the fish or whatever uh, activities, the planting or the uh, of uh, trees or the growing of uh, animals which are under the management of the entity. Uh, where management here, management of biological transformation. Yeah, how is the changes of this biological asset and the harvest of this harvest of the biological asset for sale, right? Biological transformation for sale. Let's say you want to sell the the 
animal that you have already managed in your farm, right? So for sale, or maybe the biological asset. Yeah, uh, as a result of that, you have harvested the biological asset, and be, that gives you the agricultural produce. And that agricultural produce is as a result of biological transformation and harvest of biological asset. So, and the last one is uh, according to MFRS one for one, how uh, the uh, biological transformation and harvest of biological asset was actually done for the conversion into additional biological asset. So these three things here is actually the future economic benefits that will be generated from the biological asset and the agricultural produce, right? So therefore, the sale of biological asset will bring future economic benefits, the agricultural produce coming from the detachment from the biological asset will also bring future economic benefits if you um, bought that agricultural produce, let's say the flower here, are being sold, right? Conversion into additional biological asset, let's say the chicken, you go and have more chicks here and those are additional biological asset, right? So those are also the most possible or probable future economic benefits of the entity. But it comes from these two process of biological transformation and the harvest of the biological asset that has undergone the biological transformation. So whatever unmanaged activities or things done for recre uh, recreational uh, purpose, these are not biological asset. Let's say you manage an animal for a circus or maybe just have a trees for the purpose of putting them in your garden. Yeah, just to have that as a display. Those are not biological assets. So these are the de important definition. As I said, it's about the management, activities being managed. It's about the biological transformation of the biological asset and the harvest of that biological asset, the detachment of the biological asset. Yeah, And that was done for three purposes, for sale, for conversion into agricultural produce and for conversion into additional biological asset. And I mentioned to you just now, this is the so-called future economic benefits. And I mentioned the word biological transformation when we talk about agricultural activity. So what agricultural um, biological transformation? We'll go into detail later, but that in simple words, it's about growth degeneration, production, and procreation of biological asset that will cause either quantitative or qualitative changes in the biological asset. So most importantly is that biological asset refers to animal and plant, a living animal, living plant, which is under our management. But plant here will have some exception. Yeah, we see it later. This one will be an exception of a bare plant. Agricultural produce, the term we mentioned here, is the harvested product of the biological asset. As I mentioned earlier, let's say mango is the harvested product of the mango tree. Durian is the harvested product of a durian tree. Or the latex is the harvested product of a rubber tree, right? And maybe lumber is the product comes from the forestation. Those are all agricultural produce. You can see this in more example later. Harvest is the detachment of produce from biological assets. So if you go and take the strawberry uh, from the strawberry bush bushel, Right, so therefore, you that one is actually hard, the detachment of produce, right? And also, when you seize a biological asset life process, let's say the slaughtering of animal, yeah, 
animal being slaughtered that will seize the life of biological asset. Let's say during uh, the so-called um, Idul Adha, Idul Adha a celebration, there's a lot of slaughtering to, uh, taking place. Uh, cost to sell, all this we'll cover into detail later. And you should also know what are consumable biological assets, which is within the context of MFRS 141. That, that refers to those that are to be harvested as agricultural produce. So let's say mango just now was the consumable biological asset. Or sold as biological asset. Let's say you have uh, the cow that give birth to a calf, and that calf later can be sold as biological asset. Those are consumable biological asset, right? So uh, you can go through this yourself. Fish in the farms, crops such as maize, wheat, or maybe durian in Malaysian context, or maybe mango, right? Production of meat, these are all consumable uh, biological asset, right? And also produce on a bare plant, right? So let's look at the next part. These are some examples of agricultural uh, activities where you can see here it's about a dairy cow, maybe this one is dairy cow in New Zealand, or maybe dairy cow in Kundasang, Sabah, yeah. Because dairy cow are normally um, being there for us to get milk, for the milking of dairy cow. Raising livestock, poultry, uh, chicken, duck, farming, uh, all the cow and sheep farming. You can see the pictures there. Fish and prawn farming. I'm talking about the fish which are in our for pond. The prawn which is within our control, the one inside this cage, for example, not the one which is somewhere here, which is not within our control, the one under our management, right? The same thing goes here, in the one under our management. Let's say this one is under our management, our company, but this one belongs to others, so this is not our biological asset our prawn farming that is under our control so farm like horse and cattle breeding yeah you breed them not for milk but there was for example the horse is later being sold off because they want the horse uh, maybe to use as a transportation during those cowboys a movie those days or maybe to use in the race costs uh, to get them more future economic benefits uh, so that is the one yeah, this one is dairy cow maybe we breed them for the purpose of getting the agricultural produce the milk you can see this forestry activities which give right uh, the result here is the lumber, the timber, and yeah, those are the agricultural produce. Cultivating one yard, just like all palm. This is grapefruit, where the grape is the agricultural produce, right? The trees is going to be the biological asset. The durian, it takes around five years for durian, three to four, five, around four to five years for durian to first bear the fruits and durian fruit is actually the agricultural produce. But durian trees here, yeah, it will keep on producing durian for the next maybe five to 10 years, 10 years, right? So durian tree is not a biological asset, it's a barrel plant, we'll see this. Uh, this one is the paddy field, right? This one uh, also, under the paddy plantation. The Haromanis trees are a bearer plant, but uh, the um, Haromanis fruit itself is an agricultural produce. We're going to talk about bearer plants. And there are some uh, floriculture activity where floriculture 